Today is starting off already a very exciting day because I, I know it's the worst lighting ever right now, but last minute, Ricky. Ricky and I are meeting up in a Stater Bros parking lot because Ricky is buying an Xbox Series X. An Xbox Series X. Yes, we have some retro hunting coming, but he's starting out. He's ready. He's been waiting. So, just wanted to show that he's getting it. Pretty exciting. Counting his money. And now's the time for an Xbox Series X. One million, two million, three million, four million. $20. Ricky's getting this for basically right at retail. I don't think this guy is a scalper after talking but with him. Ricky actually isn't paying scalper prices at all. He's pretty much buying it exactly for what it costs. So it seems like he genuinely ordered one too many things for his kids for Christmas. And he just wanted to let it go basically exactly for what he got it for. Ricky right there in the parking lot cracks the seal. He wants to get that feeling of opening a next console generation box. Steel sealed, Ricky. You're breaking it open. And he can't wait. He doesn't have the patience. And I gotta say, sure you wanna break that seal here, bro? That Xbox Series X packaging is one of the best I've seen as far as packaging goes in a console box. Beautiful. Wow. <laughs> the way they have it set up when you open it, man. That thing is beautiful. Ricky, what'd you get? Yeah, I am ready for Halo. And now you have an Xbox Series X. And wow. an Xbox One regular. Welcome to the new generation, Ricky. There's no time to wait. Back to Ricky's we go. Do it for Carl. Do it for Carl. For Carl. <laughs> time to play Deep Rock Galactic tonight. This is not a sponsored video, but I'd take it if they offered me one because I love the game. Not Carl Walking Dead. Check out the console a little bit more in detail inside of the house. Check it out, Gabe. Welcome to the next generation. This is called the NES.2. Get our hands on it, get to feel it, or well, let Ricky feel it. I already have one. Gabe, how spicy of a fajita is it? Also, Ricky just got me these for Christmas, even though it's past Christmas. For Christmas, Ricky got me the Ninja Turtles. It's the newly made ones that look like the older Ninja Turtles figures. Amazing Ninja Turtles from Book Off. These things are beautiful. He got them at Book Off, and they come with all of the parts that come with it. I think that's the kicker right there. All of these have the weapons with them. Michelangelo, Leonardo, 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 Donatello, and Raphael. Having Ninja Turtles in your hands, yes, they may not be the actual OG ones, but they're representative of the old OG ones, and have all those those toys, the, the, the parts with it that I know I can't get my own. Beautiful, thank you, Ricky, really. These are awesome. It feels good. Awesome gifts. Turtle power now. Is there another reference for Ninja Turtles besides Cowabunga and Turtle Power? Let's kick shell. What else is there? It's gotta be more. Thanks, Ricky. You're a one of a kind guy. <laughs> Want me again today and this time again I'm going with Ant-Man again because he happened to be around it's a new day and I am once again going to the swap meet with my buddy Ant-Man my recently turned hardcore Pokemon collector friend happy Politically correct happy holidays the guy that guy we went we met each other there what's up bro you back for more Pokemon or what uh, Dang. black shirt for the black Charizard I'm trying to search for and it's time to go on the journey of collecting. We scored the week before. What are we gonna score this week? You got an addiction, bro. You should stop now. I need more Pokemon cards. Will it be amazing? I think so. Swap me time. Run, MP, run! <laughs> Gotta catch them all. If you're new to collecting in any way, shape, or form, or even a long time collector, it's always good to kind of set a couple boundaries or a couple rules for yourself as to what you're looking for, maybe a budget. So my goal today is to get at least one Genesis game and to get a random toy that's very cool, but that I'm not expecting. When you're out there on the hunt, you can forget about those obligations and spend too, too much, much money. money. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Did you realize I was talking to the camera? Yeah, I didn't know if you were talking to me or the camera. <laughs> <laughs> 
no respect around here. We literally get to the swap meet and walk in like one booth and Jay the Generous is there. Look who just showed up. You are so kind to me. Out of the blue, hey bro, tools, I've been actually buying a lot of tools lately. Yeah. Our homie Jay, he's there and he's like, Riff, I have stuff for you. That's why you're so buff though, huh? <laughs> he always has stuff. All right, Jay's been like sending me pictures as he always does. He's like, I got stuff for you. So check it out. That's it, I'm deciding in the next episode that I'm with him, I gotta give him something good. This guy deserves it, he's too nice. He's far too nice to me. Two six buttoners, nice. So if you're a Super Nintendo guy like me, the three buttons don't do it. This is what does it. I've always thought the six button buttoners are by far the better controller. So thank you, Jay. He's giving me all these Genesis things. He gives me six button controllers, which I think are the definitive way to play Sega Genesis by far, hands down. I don't have Virtual Bart. Surprisingly, I like Virtual Bart. Even though is the game good? Nah, that's debatable. He also gives me a bunch of loose carts. A Taz game. Taz, which is, I've said before, one of Andy's favorite game that I don't have. I have another Taz game, but I don't have the Escape from Mars. An Earthworm Gym, which I actually have a copy of this, but it doesn't seem to work right. Hopefully a working Earthworm Gym, because my Earthworm Gym doesn't work. Royal Rumble, which is awesome. Beavis and Butthead, which always reminds Beavis me. Beavis and Butthead and some other things. Jay, you are too nice. You are keeping my Genesis journey going. Sir, I appreciate you, bro. Dude, hey, thank you. Always a nice man. <laughs> this Genesis thing has not stopped. It's full steam ahead and it's going well. I want to say thank you again. I hope your, hope your New Year's goes well. I love it because Genesis does. Genesis does. Genesis does. Genesis does. What Sega CD does do on the weekends. Yo, look at this. Tomb Raider. Oh, dear. Hey, 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 oh, hmm. <laughs> All right, one of the cooler things that I found a minute ago, but haven't really had time to talk about, is this Tomb Raider. It has the Eidos logo on it. Watch. He wanted $7 for this. Uh, I paid 6 It's actually extremely cool, extremely good condition. I don't know if it works. I'm sure it does. I'm sure it just needs a battery because the condition of it's great. It's Velcro. This is cool. This is one of those things that I was saying. I want to find something that I wasn't expecting to find that's still really cool. What do you think, Anthony? Did you did you have a little thing for Tomb Raider like all the other people in the world uh, when you were younger? Well, coming inside is the first step, Tim. Right. I believe that undisclosed information. Hello. His girlfriend must be watching. <laughs> you can tell I'll blur it out. Yes. I didn't blur it out. Oh. <laughs> Just like that, we're here. Boom. Tables, people, people going crazy, loving to have fun at the swap meet. Wow, these are cool. Mortal Kombat 2 cards. This feels good and the first table has nostalgic stuff already. They got Mortal Kombat 2 trading cards on the table. And some other cool cards in here along with the mask. Space Jam stuff on the table, beautiful Space Jam stuff on the table. Wow, this is cool, he just, Anthony just found this. Space Jam stuff on the table, just sitting there, exciting to see already? Space Jam Monsters Blanc, what year is this? Right. That's the real question. Oh, it looks old. Look at this. This is a good start. Has the PlayStation and Sega Saturn ad on the back. Here we go. An X Files VHS sealed. This is game hunting. This is toy collecting. This is 90s nostalgia and 80s nostalgia fun. A T2 Infiltrator's box set. What is this? It's just a little storage case. Wait, is that no, poison? Like oh, that's cool. That's awesome. No. Is that Grogu? What's up with that, bro? Kind of a shame, but I used to watch this. Really? Yeah. It's kind of creepy looking at it now. Look at that. I'm going to teach you how to get speak a lot of your butt. <laughs> <laughs> Feels good to be hunting, just seeing stuff out, getting my fingers on some used goodies. Is that even how I say things? That sounded creepy. Wow, my favorite. Wow, my favorite. All right, we were just discussing, since we don't have theme parks right now, our favorites, and funny enough, we both said which one was better. Knott's. Knott's Berry Farm is better than Disneyland. How come? It's just less packed, a lot more open, I think. You're not really stressing about getting on a ride. Come at me. I'm all about like the, the Western vibe of it. I think that's yeah. the coolest thing about it. I feel like I'm living out Sunset Riders. Just is. 
just is. The letter today is H for <laughs> I had something way darker. Where's baby Grogu? Will you take five? No. I said, will you take five? <laughs> yes. Take it. Dang, that's sexy. As I'm hunting and looking at this pretty cool shop, actually, I hear somebody say, Hey, Riff, I watch your show. I meet a cool fan, a guy named Tanner. Really nice guy, but even cooler. He goes, hey, I saw it a few episodes ago. You were looking for Silent Hill on DVD. <gasps> nope. <gasps> nope. Nope. No Silent Hill. Are you still looking for it? I'm like, yeah, I actually am. He goes, follow me into the wild, sir. I follow him, a trust follow, don't know the guy. Could have killed me behind a table if you wanted to. I like Silent Hill better than Resident Evil 2. Not Resident Evil 2, but just Resident Evil in general. I thought he was gonna just do some Silent Hill stuff on me over in the corner alone, nope. but nope, okay, we're good. But I full on trusted this guy, a nice dude. Dang, an awesome man who watches the show, stopped, hey stopped me and was like, are you still looking for Silent Hill? And I was like, yeah, and he's like, follow me. He found me Silent Hill on DVD for a dollar. I bought it for a buck. In my opinion, by far and large, the best, the definitive video game to movie adaptation movie out there. I absolutely love this movie. Even if it wasn't Silent Hill, I would probably still love it. I know there's a bad name when it comes to video game movies, but this one, so good. So thank you for, first of all, for watching, and second of all, for finding me the score that I've been looking for. Right on, brother. Not a perfect movie, but a great movie, even for a Silent Hill fan like me. <laughs> Wait, can you ruin nightmares? Um, nightmares are already I'm, ruined. Yeah, they're already ruined. It's already down the toilet. Right? Ruin their dreams. Yeah, ruin their dreams. Thank you, Silent Hill movie. You are awesome. Good start, 2021. <laughs> what am I even saying? Right on. <laughs> Alright, Anthony. Picked up this Toy Story figure. I find another booth with toy stuff in there, and it seemed like it was one of those places that didn't really have anything, just kind of like random toys I don't care about, like princess stuff. But then, I see a big old Twitch from Toy Story 3 on the edge of the table. Hanging out, waiting for me. Because I love Toy Story, first of all, but second of all, look at these colors, bro. I pick him up, I'm excited, and Twitch is awesome. He's from Toy Story 3, as I said, he's one of Lotso's henchmen. But what I really like about him, and I point out later to Anthony, is the colors of him. I know that he is a less popular character from the movie. On the, vibrant. on the shelf, in the back of the game room, I mean, it almost looks like your, your hat. But truthfully, I'd rather have him a less popular character than say like a Buzz or a Woody or a Rex or anything like that because of the colors of the character, the way it looks on the wall, and also because it's just cooler to have the lesser known characters, the less, less popular characters. I love it, so I got Twitch. I got him for four bucks. Not bad, not amazing, or maybe it goes for more. I don't know, I didn't check. But for the size of him and the, the girth, I liked it. I thought it was a great deal. Thanks, Twitch. I love you. Ant-Man comes across a booth that we went to the week previous and he is excited. I can see it in his eyes. He's like, I see the Pokemon. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. So he goes bye, over there, he bye. starts looking through all the Pokemon, and man, he reminds me a little bit of Ricky. Ant-Man likes to take his time when he's looking at stuff, but I like it. In a way, Anthony reminds me of Ricky, where he takes a long time when he finds something he wants to look at, which I'm glad. Normally, when I'm in a little bit of rush, I'm like, yeah, let's, let's go, let's go to the next booth, but just seeing the twinkle in his eye. I got this out of Pikachu. Is that a charge out over there? I see a shiny bubble door. I'm glad, I like seeing him learn and kind of Feel out what he wants and why he wants it. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool to watch because he's new and to collect. And he gets so excited and I love seeing it. And now my eyes hurt. Anthony, I'm working the deal. I appreciate it. Thank you. Let's check in a little later to see what he actually got because I don't even know how to like narrate this part because they all just sound like little things, syllables and words to me. We'll go over was, what you got in a little bit, but how'd it feel? I feel amazing, honestly. Like I completed one set oh my God, my of Mega, so. I got a chimpalankadami man. It's good to complete one so far, but just looking at the artwork right now, it's kind of like a little kid in a candy store. And you're a little kid there, And I hit her with your knee What's it like to like feel like you were like a cool guy like a month ago, and now you're just a nerd like the rest of us? Uh, I don't know. It's still transitioning. 
Now you gotta buy me a taco, all right? How dare you. Now, I'm going to pick up something that I had to have them hold for me. Now, interesting enough, we gotta head back to the toy booth from earlier because I have a little secret. Actually, I left the camera rolling on accident so you can hear it if I play it. I don't have change yet for something. Um, would you do five if I bought this guy too? Okay, I'll, I'll have to come right back for him though. Is that okay? Okay, yeah, yeah, I'll be right back for him. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'll be back shortly. This guy that I bought Twitch from also had kind of buried under all of his toys, but I didn't have the right amount of cash with me. I needed some change. There's our destination that we're going to straight ahead. They had a figure that is really cool for just five doll hairs. He had a Turok the Dinosaur Hunter, one of the best characters from, in my opinion, the 64 days. That's what we were trying to come back for. This was just sitting on a random table. We got ourselves a Turok the Dinosaur Hunter. With that said, we never run across Turok figures in the wild loose like that, except for one other time. There's literally one other time that I can think of where we've ever run across Turok the Dinosaur Hunter figures. Kind of fast walking. They still don't see what's going on. I pick it up. 10 bucks for Turok. Yes, sir. Guy was like, is that Turok? <laughs> and dude, and for 10, I am gonna get it. I mean, I don't know what, it's, what it goes for, but it's just, that's sick. So it's awesome to see. I paid five bucks for him. Again, very excited to have this. I think Ricky has a Turok toy, but not this specific one, if I'm not mistaken. I haven't seen this specific one, but then again, I haven't really been looking for Turok toys. Don't know if it's a great deal. He wanted seven. I don't really care. Like I've said before, when it comes to display stuff, if I like the way it looks, then I'll buy it. Then I'll pay what I think it's worth having up on the shelf. And I like the way it looked. I guarantee it. So really happy to have this. Turok's one of the coolest games on the N64 by far. In my opinion, more played than the majority of games in the Nintendo 64. So nice job, Turok. Thanks for existing. Turok the Dinosaur Hunter would make actually a really good movie if I'm being 100 with myself right now. Oh no, it's a dinosaur. Some, somebody shoot it. We're kind of heading out and then Ant-Man stops again at one of our friend's booths, by the way, and he's like, I see more Pokemon. You buying more Pokemon, bro? Yes, sir, I'm addicted. Dang. <laughs> From the homie, too? <laughs> Dang. It's <so> spiraling. <laughs> I buy by the case. By the, by oh, the boxes. boxes? He's going again. He, I, can, I can just sense it in his eyeballs. Blink, 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 blink. Pokemon. And instead of buying Pokemon cards, singles, he buys the coveted, the dangerous, the ever exhilarating Pokemon packs. So hopefully he gets some cool ones. I hope he gets a, a Salamander, man. Ant-Man, Pokemon, what'd you get today, dog? So I got a Mega Charizard full art form. Now I'm actually curious though. I wanna know one by one which cards he individually picked up. I got a Mega Charizard EX. Dang, bro, are those Another? baller cards? Oh. This one completes my set for full art. Mm -hmm. Then I got the EX uh, Y version. And there's this other card in here. It's a Mega um, Mega Venusaur full art. That Ooh. one completes the set as well. Beautiful looking card. There you go. Wow. And then we stop with the homie. Got a Hidden Fates pack. Wow. And an Evolution. Wow. So hopefully we got a good shiny Charizard in this one. Either way, regardless, genuinely, as I said, very happy for him. I can see his excitement. Dude, for sure there's a Mega La Pico down in there, bro, <laughs> for sure. And there may be a little Charizard in this one. Yeah, Who knows? Bro. So cool to see. Ant-Man, you keep that going, bro. You keep enjoying the flow of getting Pokemon cards and seeing that smile on your face brings a smile to my face. I feel like the president. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> My actual message to everybody is if you think you don't have time to game hunt, which you might not and might be able to justify that, but if you find yourself a little bit of time just to swing by somewhere and, and take a peek at some random places, if you can do that where you're living, do it if you can. Because like I said before, last week we thought, hey, we'll just swing real quick and see what we can get. We got a lot of good stuff. And today, same thing. With that, I went away with a big bag of Sega stuff. That was thanks to Jay some Turok toys, Silent Hill, uh, the Toy Story toys, and even other stuff that I can't remember off the top of my head. 
short time, really short time. We did all this like in an hour. Yeah, my favorite thing for sure. The Laura Croft Tomb Raider Eidos watch. An amazing day, amazing scores. Thanks, Ricky. I'm so glad he has the Series X. My gosh, we can't stop playing Deep Rock Galactic. Please sponsor this video. All this was done in such a short time. We were probably here for less than an hour. Either way, I hope every single one of you has an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate you, honestly. I do this for fun. So I get my giggles and, and my laughs seeing what all of you are saying in the comments below. You guys are a, a hoot nanny and a hollering group of people. Uh, mm -hmm. Scary game.